this video, I'll be showing you how to build a power amplifier and interface a speaker and pick up audio signals from a resistive condenser mic. See how the circuit is working. So we have a 12 volts DC supply. This can be either a battery or you can also use a direct uh, supplies uh, that is rectified supplies. Uh, so you can use 12 volts rectified supply but the problem here is that uh, if you are using 12 volt supply then you will have to uh, there will be a lot of a lot of ripple in the input supply voltage and so uh, even though uh, you uh, 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 have um, you know reasonably good supplies there uh, there is a, uh, every possibility that the ripple will creep in and if the ripple will creep in then there is a constant power dissipation and also there is a constant hum of 50 hertz hum that will be heard from the speaker so to re to reduce that to a certain extent you can use uh, the capacitor over here to uh, remove or, or, or reduce the voltage ripple now coming to the input stage uh, these two networks form this resistor 1.5 kilo ohm resistor and a variable resistor that has been modeled uh, but this is actually not a variable resistor what we are using here is a condenser mic the condenser mic is actually a variable resistor so I have uh, modeled it in that way but actually it is not a constant uh, resistance it is a variable resistance depending upon the intensity of the audio uh, signal that is that is reached onto the uh, uh, condenser mic uh, its resistance varies as the resistance varies the potential of this point will vary if the potential of this point will vary uh, uh, then that is the audio signal that is nothing but the audio signal now the audio signal uh, also comes with a certain amount of DC bias because these two networks whenever are uh, there is no input given to them this will have a constant DC bias upon which the AC signal uh, uh, that is the audio signal is coming so to remove the DC bias we are going to use this 4.7 microfarad electrolytic capacitor then that input will go to uh, these 47 kilo ohm resistors which will bias the input supply to 6 volts because this is at 12 volts and this is uh, e uh, e and these two uh, uh, resistors are equal then this will be at uh, 6 volts and this will give a 6 volt DC bias to the overall signal the reason why we are using uh, doing this overall signal bias is because we are using single supply biasing because for an operational amplifier to support positive swings we need positive voltage and for an operational amplifier to uh, support negative swings we need negative voltages but since uh, the only su available supply mm, uh, or economically speaking uh, it is very easy to have uh, a single voltage of 12 volts and a ground so we will be using single supply biasing over here so when there is a single by a single supply bias then we have to uh, introduce a bias to the act overall signal to accommodate for the positive and the negative swings now that's about it now we will uh, look at what the uh, feedback loop has this feedback loop is having this 1 mega ohm and this 100 kilo ohm resistors so these two form a pair and uh, we know that that forms uh, uh, 1 mega ohm by uh, we know that the formula for that is 1 1 plus feedback resistance by in, uh, by ne uh, no, inverting input resistance that is 100 kilo ohms so uh, that is 1 mega ohm by 100 kilo ohms will give 10 plus 1 according to the formula for non inverting operational amplifier we'll get a gain overall gain of 11 and this capacitor over here is used to make the DC gain, DC overall gain unity. So that is whatever DC gain, DC level is here will appear here. So there is no, uh, the DC is not being amplified, only the AC is being amplified. So that is the meaning of, that is the reason why we have used this capacitor. Now this, uh, the signal over here is just voltage amplified but not current amplified but for a reasonably good amount of amplification we need both voltage and current amplification or in other words to say power amplification so for achieving something like that we will need to use a power transistor that is shown here it's an NPN power transistor 
and uh, this has to be biased so these resistors help uh, in biasing the circuit uh, this 220 ohm uh, resistor will uh, will uh, prevent uh, over currents from flowing into the base and destroying the base and uh, this 8 ohms is actually the speaker so this 8 ohms is the load or this is the speaker and this 470 microfarad uh, microfarad capacitor is used uh, to uh, uh, to uh, is used for uh, coupling the two stages so this is about it this is the simple circuit and uh, let's go and look at how this circuit actually works distance between uh, the speaker and the uh, place where the mic is uh, with these wires so I think uh, we can now get a more uh, honest opinion on how this circuit is working. 